what excites me, it's definitely the region where they are growing and especially in Indonesia where we have a large market, large populations and there's definitely a lot of good that uh, tech could do and the startup ecosystem could do to the country as well. Not only the market is growing, but I believe also the startup ecosystem in Indonesia is also very vibrant and we have this, that sense of camaraderie between us and yeah, together I believe we can push the development forward. I think moving forward, since there is the new generation of founders coming up, they have the experience of building and growing new startups in Indonesia. We will see more ideas that are more localized. Uh, I think original idea that is very adequate for solving the real problems coming from our region. I think the mantra was number one, uh, their capabilities. Number two is their motivation. And number three is their character. Those are the three framework we look at when we assess our founder. There's a lot of great things about being uh, an entrepreneur and a founder. I think most of us really enjoy developing products. So the things that I look for the most every day is coming to the office and develop products. I'm Zul. My big takeaways for this session is despite uh, when we're now facing the, the tech winter, it is important to stay true in our core process, in our core competence, and don't get up in the hype easily. That will be the main difference from one company to the other one. Yeah.